Hello, it's Mundo Monday here with Miss Amy once again to share the whole world stories. And I have good news and bad news for you. Oh, the good news is the Frank Sayers Public Library will be starting to carefully have in-person story times again, starting in mid-September. I'll be doing two at the library myself yoga story time again on Mondays, which is always fun, and a new interactive story time on Thursdays. And I may be even visiting some daycares and preschools in the area again. That's great! So what's the bad news? The bad news is that means I'll have less time to spend with you, Mundo. Oh. We'll still get together about once a month or so for some big special videos. Oh. But since this is the last time I'll be seeing you in at least a month. I wanted to read a book that really sums up the purpose of Mundo Mondays. That everyone, all people, no matter where they come from, what they look like, how they live, or what they can or can't do, has their own unique story. So even if you never meet a person, they still may have an incredible story you aren't even aware of. So listen and pay attention because everybody has a story, and everybody's story counts. Everybody counts. Oh, that's what it's called. Everybody Counts by Christian Roskifte. And as is appropriate for our discussion of the whole world stories, this story was originally written in Norwegian. Christian Roskifte lives in Norway. This book has been translated to English and 26 other languages around the world because you'll see it has a lot to say about people and their stories. A lot. This is a wild It says book. a counting story from zero to 7.5 billion. Does it really count all the way up to 7.5 billion? It may skip a few numbers here and there, but it gets up there. 7.5 billion, or 7.5 billion, or 7 billion 500 million, that's another way to say it, is a very special number to me. Do you know why? We'll soon find out. Mm, maybe not so soon. Like I said, this is a wild book that gets pretty complicated. We can read it straight through if we want, but you can also take hours and hours to flip through back and forth trying to keep track of all the different people and all their stories in the pictures. But we start out simple. Zero. No one. Unless you got the deer. But we don't need to count deer. Just counting humans will get complicated enough after a while. One. One person. He is lying in bed counting his heartbeats. He wonders how many people are looking up at the same stars now? Oh, good question. Now, before I go on, there's an answers page at the back of the book. I'm not going to tell you all the secrets in the answers page, but one thing she says there that might help us talk as we read is that this is a boy named Thomas. Thomas. It may help us to be able to refer to Thomas by name. There's Thomas again on the next page! Two. Two people in the forest. One of them says something the other will remember for the rest of his life. Who said what, I wonder? And what did they say? We may never know. Three. Three people on a podium. Two of them are thrilled to be in the top three. Does it tell you which ones? No, but we can probably guess if we look closely. The second place looks pretty grumpy. So I'm guessing he's the one who's not thrilled? He should have watched last week's video about the Olympic Creed. The most important thing in the Olympic Games is not to win, but to take part. But Thomas looks pleased enough to have made it to third place. Four. Four people in a band. One of them is a twin. One of them is thinking about her daughter's birthday present. One of them will be injured soon. How can we tell who is who from this picture? We don't know who is a twin if their twin isn't there with them. We know the one thinking about her daughter's present is female, but the gender of each of these people is not always obvious. And 
How can we tell who will be injured? None of them appear to be doing anything dangerous. Some of these answers we'll find out as the book goes on, if we pay attention. Five. Five people in a family. Three of them love reading. One of them is secretly in love. It's Thomas's family. There's the man from the forest, who must be his dad. And his mom is the guitarist from the band. Oh, and she has a daughter. Maybe Thomas's sister has a birthday coming. So we've answered some questions, but now we have more. Three of them love reading? Why only three? And why is one secretly in love? Thomas's parents are married. There's even their wedding picture. But there's two of them and it's not a secret. Six. Six people in an elevator. There's Thomas's mom. One of them is scared he's missing out. Two of them feel lonely. Well, the man in green doesn't look scared or lonely. The woman in red looks sad. Could she be lonely? I don't think Thomas's mom is lonely with such a nice family, but who knows? I wonder if this man is looking so closely at his phone because he's scared of missing something on it. Seven. Seven people in a police lineup. That means they all look a little bit alike, so the witnesses have to pick out the one they saw. They all look a little like Thomas's dad, too. Especially number nine. Oh, hey, wait, he's supposed to be number six. Thomas's dad wouldn't mix up six and nine. Anyway, it looks a little like him, but not exactly. That's good. But only one person in the police lineup is an actual criminal anyway. In fact, four of them have never done anything wrong. All of them are scared they'll be singled out. I wonder who done it. And here below, we have another sort of lineup, and they all look a little nervous, too. I hope Thomas hasn't been arrested. <laughs> no. Eight. Eight people in PE class. It's phys ed or gym class, whatever you call it. All of them are worried they'll be picked last for dodgeball. One of them is looking forward to his sister's well, birthday party. If Thomas's mom was the band member thinking about her daughter's birthday present, then that makes sense. Thomas could be thinking about his sister's birthday party. Here we have another line, one that's going upstairs. And there's Thomas's dad at the top. See, he wasn't the one in the police lineup. Oh, at the bottom of the stairs is the man from the elevator, still staring at his phone. There are other people on their phones here, too, but not quite so intense about it. Anyway, nine people standing in a line. Two of them have important decisions to make. One of them is about to be disappointed. One of them is looking forward to going to the movies with her son. I can't tell any of these things from this picture. Just like you can't tell what stories might be happening to all the people you meet in real life. Ten. Ten people in a hair salon. One of them is going to a party. One of them is going on a long trip. One of them has a business idea. I have no idea. But there's that party again. Thomas's sister's birthday party? Eleven. Eleven people on a soccer team. Ten of them like playing soccer. One of them dreads going to school. Only ten of them like playing soccer. Oh, who looks unhappy there? There's that kid who was grouchy about getting second place, playing goalie, but he doesn't look unhappy here as much as just serious. But this boy, he definitely looks like he doesn't want to be here. Unlike Thomas, who looks happy. How would we know if they dread going to school, though? Twelve. Twelve people at a birthday party. It is Thomas's sister's party. Were any of those people at the hair salon? Check and see. There, the woman with the red glasses. And she has shorter hair now. She looks a little like Thomas's sister. Their aunt, maybe? Two of them are thinking about how time flies. Must be grown-ups. One of them wishes her own birthday was sooner. This little girl, a cousin, she looks a little more subdued than the others. Thirteen. Thirteen people at a life drawing class. Why do they have to draw a naked person? So they can focus on how the person is actually shaped, not on their clothes. I wonder if she feels funny being naked in front of all those people. Well, she doesn't have to worry about them paying too much attention to her. Because, as it says here, twelve of them forget everything else as they draw. 
just 12? Oh, wait, she's the 14th person. One of them will soon become a father for the first time. Oh, there's Thomas's father, but he already has three kids. You know what I like? They're all drawing the same person, but every one of their drawings is still unique. Uh, he hasn't quite gotten started yet, though. Oh, maybe he's the soon-to-be father. That would be a very distracting thing, even if he normally forgets everything else when he draws. Fourteen. Fourteen people on a roller coaster. Eight of them are having a blast. One of them will never do it again. So, fourteen minus eight. Six of them are not having a blast. Like whoever just lost their glasses there. But five of those six are in between. Maybe they think the roller coaster is just okay, or maybe just this time isn't so great and they'll try again later. Only one person truly hates it. Thomas and his dad look pretty happy. Well, not in this picture. Fifteen. Fifteen people at a funeral. Oh, that's all Thomas's family. Most of those people were at the birthday party. Who could have died? Oh look, this old great-grandfather is gone now. Well, I bet he had a long and happy life. Thirteen of them are grieving. Who's not grieving? Oh, the priest! That's just their job to lead funerals. He probably didn't know the great-grandfather. But who of the guests isn't sad? Is Thomas's little brother too little to understand? And why is this man in pink instead of black? He does look sad, though. Two of them will soon run a marathon. Well, got me there. Sixteen. Sixteen people gardening in the backyard. One of them is annoyed at the people not participating. I found him, I think. Look at how he glares at the person inside. One of them loves seeing things grow. One of them? I would think all of them care. Uh, but he does look particularly dreamy about it. One of them does a handstand for 15 minutes every day. So many stories. 17. 17 people in the emergency room. Oh no! One of them hopes to recover before the costume parade. Nine of them are frustrated that they have to wait so long. One of them loses something. Loses something? What? That slip of paper? Oh no. Oh, what's under Thomas's chair? Oh, poor Thomas, I hope he feels better soon. I hope they all feel better soon. Oh, wait, did it say one of the band members would get injured soon? Are any of them here? Yes, look, there's the trumpet player. 18, 18 people in a library, yay! Oh, one of them is wondering how many stories the library contains. Even more than the books, if you count all the people's stories. Oh, look, there's Thomas with a big stack of books. I guess he feels better. I also guess he's one of the three people in his family who loves reading then. And his sister, too. Two of these people find something more what? between the books. More? 19. 19 people in an office building. Ten of them work there. One of them has a new assignment. Oh. One of them is told the future looks dark. This woman is looking into a crystal ball. Is she telling the other woman that her future looks dark? On the other hand, this man looks like he's also getting some bad news. So maybe he's learning about a dark future in a different way. There's a lot of different kinds of jobs in this building. It says lawyer, a fortune teller, ah, yeah. an auditor, I think that's who's talking to the angry man. He's telling them that his money isn't adding up properly. Psychologist studies brains. Is that a picture of a brain on her wall? Interior architect. Maybe this one. Does it look like a room layout to you? Climatologist studies climate. Hmm, maybe that hanging globe thing is showing weather patterns. Ophthalmologist. Eye doctor. Oh, he's getting his eyes tested private detective. Maybe this one with all the clues on the walls. Oh, that's Thomas's dad. Is he hiring a private detective? Or is he a private detective? Town planner. I guess 
This is the town planner because that looks like a map of town roads behind her. An artist. So we have two windows left, an artist and the lawyer. That must be the artist in yellow because the lawyer is more likely to have another person in her office that she's working for. Wait a minute. Look at that poster down beside the list of jobs. It says wanted. Now look at the man in the lawyer's Ooh. office. Well, this time we know it's not Thomas's father because he's right there in the office below them. Oh, wait, wait. Remember the police lineup when everyone looked a little bit like that? Wanted man looks like all of them, but at the same time, he's not any of them. It, did the police arrest the wrong person the first time? And there's the wanted man just strolling into his lawyer's office. You're looking a lot closer at this than the people in the story are looking. <laughs> Even the private detective. 20. 20 people in a school history class. One of them is thinking about the people who've lived before us. She's thinking about something. One of them is thinking about a lost teddy. Wait, was that what Thomas lost at the hospital? One of them is dreading soccer training. Oh, which one from the soccer team didn't like it? There he is. So which of those kids was dreading school? We can see who looks unhappy in this picture. This one looks angry, but he's not on the soccer team. Oh, there's the second place goalie again. He still doesn't look happy, but is that because he dreads school or is he just always cranky? One of them will become president. Wow, can't tell that now. 21, 21 people playing hide and seek. One of them is laughing too loudly. One of them is practicing doing a handstand. One of them will not be found before bedtime. Can we find them all? Count and see. Here's it. He would be one, then two, three, four, five, six. Oh, look, he's the one practicing a handstand. Seven, eight, nine. Is that Thomas's hair? He's talking to the person hiding with him. I bet one of them is doing the laughing. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Well, we found all of them before bedtime at least. 22, 22 people in an apartment building. Two of them have done something illegal. One of them works in a prison. One of them is an obsessive collector. One of them hasn't left the apartment in eight years. I guess that person is someone we haven't seen before. There are familiar people in this building. That's Thomas's cousin at the door and her mom, his aunt, upstairs. Wait, is that the wanted man on the top floor? Well, he's done something illegal. Who's the other person? What about collecting? What about everyone else? Oh, yes, keeping track of all these people's stories is getting much more complicated. 23, 23 people in a prison, 18 of them have committed a crime. Wait, what? Some of them are in jail and they're innocent? Or they could work there as well. There's Thomas's aunt, she's not behind bars. Oh, and it did say someone in the apartment building worked in <laughs> But the even prison. she's a little tired for the day because as it says, all of them long to get out. One of them will escape with help from his wife. <gasps> 24, 24 people at a flea market. One of them finds a missing teddy bear. That's Thomas's mom. She found Thomas's lost. It looks more like a raccoon than a bear. Don't forget this book was translated from Norwegian. It could be that the word for teddy bear in Norwegian means all stuffed animals, not just bears. Well, anyway, one of them buys something she doesn't need. That could be any of them. There's an awful lot of stuff there. Two of them buy things to use to make costumes. Wasn't someone looking forward to a costume and here parade? here it is. 25, 25 people at a costume parade. 24 of them have dressed up as something that interests them. Two of them forget how shy they are normally. Who? One of them isn't dressed up. They all look dressed up. 26, 26 people in a supermarket. One of them is stealing. One of them gets inspired. Two of them are buying ingredients for cake. Who's stealing? Do you see anyone stealing? Oh, is that the man who's going to be a new father with his this baby? Man? Similar, but not quite. 
Anyway, here's his wife, and she hasn't had the baby yet. Wait a minute. The man with the baby carriage looks sneaky. It's not even really a baby. Well, everybody counts, so how many people are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. That's not a baby. He's putting things he's stealing in the baby carriage. Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven people at an art exhibition. One of them is oh, the artist. Wasn't she in the office building as an artist? And she's the only one not looking at the artwork, but standing there as if to answer questions about it. One of them is blown away by the art, and two of them found each other at the library. Wait, what? That's what they found between the books. Each other. Oh, wait, let me see the people in the elevator again. That's the lonely woman. And the man in the back, he was the other lonely person. And now look at them. They're on a date together. 28. 28 people at a baking competition. The 10 best bakers win cinema tickets. The winner receives two plane tickets to any destination. They've all made cakes about things they like. Look at that man. He has a clock face and he made a clock cake. And beside him, that woman must have been the private detective that Thomas's dad hired. She's made a fingerprint cake. Oh, there's the lonely man from the elevator. Not so lonely anymore. He's thinking about his girlfriend with that cake, I think. 29. 29 people in a club for people who only wear pink. One of them is still dressed up from the costume parade. Or were they the one not in costume? No, there's a person in there. That's not a real flamingo. One of them is thinking about canceling their membership. One of them got lost on the way to a workshop for people who are afraid of flying. One of them is a taxi driver. Well, they all got lost if they're all wearing pink. Oh, wait, he's not. Oh, that's Thomas's dad. And he's talking to... What, well, that explains the man at the funeral who wears all in pink. So even though Thomas's dad got lost, at least he found someone he knows to talk to. 30. 30 people in a park. Oh, wow, there's so much going on. One of them is doing his first ever handstand. There he is! Oh, he was the one practicing during hide and seek. Oh, look, the man with the phone isn't even watching. Is he always on that Two phone? Two of them have never visited a park before. No one sees a crime being committed. Hmm. Well, there is someone walking on the grass that says keep off the grass. But is that really a crime? No, but there's someone running and hiding with a purse that doesn't seem to belong to him. Is that the same man who robbed the supermarket? Maybe. But speaking of baby carriages... Oh, it's the no longer pregnant woman and the now new dad! Their baby is here! Wait a minute. You said everybody counts, right? Yep. There's something off here. Can we count here? One, two, three, Thomas and his sister. Four, five, six, seven. Oh, the balloon seller. That wasn't a costume at the costume parade. He was just selling balloons. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Oh, the new lovebirds. 21, 22. Is that Thomas's dad? That's not Thomas's mom. Oh, no, you don't think Thomas's dad was a secretly in love one? Secretly in love with someone else? Yeah. Besides, Thomas's dad usually wears red. That's more of an orange. Oh, good. 23 is the thief. 24, 25, 26. And the new parents are 27 and 28. And the baby is 29? So where's 30? Oh, wait! Two people have never been to the park before. Are there two babies? Did they have twins? 45. 45 people in traffic. Wait, it just skipped a bunch of numbers. Well, we're never going to make it to seven and a half billion at the rate we'd be going if we don't skip a few numbers. So it skipped to 45 people in traffic. 
two of them are on the run. One of them is doing something very dangerous. One of them is dreaming of a bigger car. On the run? Wasn't somebody's wife going to break him out of prison? There's a woman and a man in a car together. Was the man the one of the ones in prison? Yep. And now they're on the run, right behind a police car. Oh, look, he got the thief. So who's doing something very dangerous? Are they riding backwards or just looking backwards? What's he doing with his hand out the window? Is that guy being kidnapped? Or, wait, 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 it's the man who's always on the phone. And he's still looking down. You don't think he's looking at the phone when he's supposed to be driving, do you? Be careful, Thomas and his dad. 50, we skipped ahead again. 50 people at the mall. One of them has great ambitions. One of them is worried about a disappointed customer. Two of them are planning an important event. Clockface Man is at the clock store, but honestly, I don't think I can find all these people that quickly anymore. Oh, we gotta save some for everyone watching to find on their own when they check this book out, right? Oh, but the lovebirds, are they planning an important event? I think so. 60. 60 people at a wedding. Yay! One of them catches the bridal bouquet. One of them wants to be somewhere else. Did Thomas's aunt catch the bouquet? She was reaching. 65. 65 people at a twin festival. Two of them have never been to a twin festival before. Three of them are not twins. Four of them fall in love. Look, the new mother. The new babies were twins. And she's a twin too. The babies are the two who have never been to a twin festival before, just like they were the two who have never been to a park. But how are three of them not twins? They all seem to come in sets of two. Oh, but he's not. Wait, that's Thomas's dad. No, no, he's not wearing red. Well, wait, wait. Thomas's dad is a triplet. That was one of his uncles in the park. And wait, go back to the birthday party. How did we not notice there were two of Thomas's dads there? That's an uncle, too. And one of the other triplets isn't in the picture. 75! 75 people running a marathon. One of them has won the lottery and is only running because he's happy. I think I found him. Two of them are sisters, but don't know about each other. One of them likes going to strangers' weddings and funerals. What? That's the other person who wasn't mourning at the funeral? And they went to the wedding, too? That's another one for you all to find on your own when you have time. 85. 85 people in a movie theater. I bet 10 of them were in the baking contest. The movie makes one of them see the world in a new light. Three of them think it's boring. One of them will watch the movie again in 82 years. I guess that must be a young one. And I bet you could find all the bored people on your own. 90. 90 people at an award ceremony for artists. And there's the artists. Five of them receive prizes. 40 of them are jealous. One of them is just happy to be alive. Oh, the man with the bandage on his head. He was badly hurt at the hospital. I'm happy he's alive too. 100. 100 people in a schoolyard. One of them will soon fall and get hurt. One of them will develop a vaccine that saves millions of lives. Good for them! I bet we can't pick them out from this picture, though. I see lots of kids who might fall and get hurt, though. Uh, there's the boy who does handstands again. And it's not Thomas. He's kissing somebody in the playhouse. Oh, Thomas, you were the one in the family who was secretly in love, weren't you? 135. 135 people at an airport. Oh, boy. 19 of them are homesick. I'm not even trying anymore. One of them is about to miss the flight. One of them is meeting their family for the first time. Really, check this out at the one library. One of them doesn't want to be leaving and won't be coming and back. And find all these people on your own. 200. 200 people on a beach. One of them has read that there are as many stars in the universe as there are grains of sand on Earth. Two of them are panicking because they can't see their children. I can't see them either. I will leave it up to you. 400. 400 people at a demonstration. One of them wants to learn to read. One of them needs important surgery. One of them wants a telescope. One of them dreams of finding a best friend. All of them 
want a better world. So many stories, more than anybody can keep track of. One thousand. A thousand people watch a comet that won't pass close to Earth for another 2,533 years. Many of them wonder whether there's life on other planets. None of them knows for sure what the meaning of life is. Seven billion, five hundred million. There it is. But where are they? Right here. Oh, naturally, it's me. Yep. Seven and a half billion people on the same planet. Every single one of them has their own unique story. Everybody counts. One of them is you. Those are the exact words we say all the time here on Mundo Monday. And here they are in this book from Norway. That's because of the truth. This really is a very mundo -y book. Uh, it's not over yet. Once you think you found all the secrets, you get a big spread of additional questions like, where does she work? And where was the horn bought? But also open answer thinking questions like, who are you? Who knows the most about you? And does everyone share the same truth? And then, oh boy, there's the answers page. But it doesn't give you all the answers. And it may even give you more questions. So, Everybody Counts by Kristen Roskifte. It's in our TK math section because it's technically a counting book, though it's a little more complicated than most counting books. Come check it out and see what you can find of all these people's intertwining stories. And never forget that 7.5 billion people all have stories of their own and they're all worth sharing. So listen to each other's stories, share your own stories, and celebrate what makes us all the same and all unique. Love each other, keep reading stories, and I'll see you at the library.